I had a friend. He was my partner. He got Lori and Carl to safety right after it all started. I couldn't. I was in the hospital. I didn't, I didn't know what was happening. My friend. Hello, hello. It's a person who called still in the air. His name was Shane. This is Officer Shane Walsh broadcasting a person unknown. Him and Lori. They were together. They thought I was dead. Now is not the time. <laughs> Come on, when is it ever the time? How can you treat me like this? You're kidding, right? Uh -uh. Because you told me my husband is dead. Oh, boy, I didn't lie to you. All right, I did. Okay. Do you know what it was like there? Huh? Stop. When there were soldiers shooting people in the halls, they were shooting people, man, not walkers. There were no doctors there. It was just me. He was hooked up to machines, and I did not know what to do. I even took my ear, and I put it on his chest, and I listened to a heartbeat, and I did not hear one. But there's no way he could survive that. No way! He did. about that night about what happened. It's time that we all start to just consider the other possibility. Shane, we're not leaving Sophia behind. I'm close to finding this girl. I just found a damn doll two days ago. <laughs> you found her doll, Daryl. That's what you did. You found a doll. You know what the hell you're talking Man, look, about. Look, I'm just right, saying what right. needs to be said here. You know, you get a good lead Shane, in the first Shane, 48 hours. Shane, Shane, that, you know, let me tell you something else, man. If she was alive out there, saw you coming, all methed out with your buck knife, your geek ears around your neck, she would run in the other direction. Shut up. Right, right, wait, just, 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 just stop. Hey, 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 I heard what really happened at the school. One shot to the leg. Carl lives. The reality is, he had no business being here. You don't think I would have done it? No, man, I know you wouldn't. You don't think I could keep Lori or Carl safe? Shake no! Not now! Just not now! Well, when, Rick? When? We're going back. It's a man's life. He shot at you, Rick. He ran with men who tried to kill you. You gotta bring him back to where Lori sleeps! To where Carl sleeps! It ain't hard, man. The right choice is the one that keeps us alive. It's always the same with you. It's like the first moments. It's whenever you're put to the test. Look, it's my call, man. I think you can keep them safe.
Let's talk more walking. Balls to call this what it is. Murder. You really believe if you walk back onto that farm alone, no me, no grand, hush up. You really believe they're gonna buy whatever bullshit story you cook up? I just said there ain't no story. I saw that prisoner shoot you down. I ran after him. I snapped his neck. It ain't gonna be easy. But Lori and Carl, they'll get over you. They done it before. They just gonna have to. Why? Why now? I thought we worked this all out. We tried to kill each other, man. What you think? We're just gonna forget about it all? We're gonna ride off into the sunset together? You're gonna kill me in cold blood? What happened, Rick? I thought you weren't the good guy anymore. Ain't that what you said? Even right here, right now, you ain't gonna fight for him. You don't think I would've done it? I'm not the good guy anymore. That is my wife. That is my son. That is my unborn child. I will stay alive to keep them alive. <laughs> I know you're an asshole. I like to take credit for that, actually, Rick, when I think about it. I mean, I'm sure others did influence you, but I'd like to take full credit. I didn't want it, you know that. But you took it. <laughs>